So this candlelight vigil is to, to express, to show our condolences to the crew, uh, to the family of the crew, and also the passenger of MH17. Initially, we thought that there were 295 passengers on board. Eventually, the number increased to 298 because three infants, there were also three infants on board. And I must say that as a mother of two, I'm very, very sad. I'm very, very disturbed because to me, the world, the future belong to the infants, to the three little angels on MH17. Whatever we are doing today, whatever we are fighting for today, actually is not for ourselves. But to me, it's actually for the next generation, for the generation, for the coming generation, because actually the world and the future belongs to them. But because of some adults, some shellfish, I would say some shellfish, some stubborn, some stupid adults, they make some mistake, and therefore, the lives of 298 crew and passengers were lost, and three little infants, before they even have the chance to explore the world, they were gone forever. I hope this could serve as a wake-up call to all of us, to, not only to all Malaysians, but to all mankind in the world. Don't, don't you think that this is something very far away from us in Ukraine and Russia, and therefore it won't affect us. I think what happened to MH17 shows that, yes, even though Ukraine and Russia, even though they sound so far away from us, and yet we are now being affected. Therefore, to the family and friends of the crew and passenger at MH17, I would like to send my deepest condolences to them. And also, to all of us here, let us start thinking, how can we make the world a better place for ourselves, for our friends and family, and more important, for the future generations.